Well, hello everybody. I'd like to share with you from uh, Jeremiah chapter 24 today, just a, a devotion about having a relationship with the Lord, learning to trust the Lord. And sometimes he brings us into places that uh, can be very difficult so that we'll learn to put our trust in him. We get so comfortable sometimes in circumstances, in life, and he, he moves us to a new place so that we'll learn to truly trust in him. And that's what Jeremiah is talking about here in Jeremiah chapter 24, beginning in verse 1. It says, After Jehoiachin, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the officials and the skilled workers and the artisans of Judah were carried into exile from Jerusalem, to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, the Lord showed me two baskets of figs placed in front of the temple of the Lord. Now this is, this is uh, about 597 BC, and the Babylonians have come in and they're carrying away into captivity uh, the king of Judah, who is, uh, his name is Jehoiachin. And when Jeremiah sees this, he, he, God gives him this uh, illustration. There's two baskets of figs in the temple. And they were, they were put there for the priests. It was, uh, you would bring in the fruits, the first fruits, and this would be to honor the Lord, but the fruits would go to the priest. And in this situation, there's two basketfuls of figs. One basket is good figs, and the other basket, bad figs. And we're told, the Lord asked me, what do you see, Jeremiah? He said, figs, I answered, good ones. Uh, the good ones are very good, but the bad ones are so bad they cannot be eaten. So the word, the word of the Lord came to me. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, like these good figs, I regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I sent away from this place to the land of the Babylonians. So God was saying, uh, there are those who are going to go into captivity. There are those who are going to be taken by the Babylonians away from their homes. And they're going to be taken for 70 years into exile, into Babylon. And God says, I see them as good figs. Now they weren't, he's not saying I see them as good people, but he's saying I see what's going to happen to them in Babylon. They're going to go there and they're going to learn to trust in me. They're going to learn to put their hope in me. They're not going to follow after idols any longer. And because of that, God said, they're good. Their good fruit. There's going to be good fruit produced in their lives. Now, there were many who were staying behind in Babylon, and they were probably looking at their own lives saying, you know what? This isn't so bad. We get to stay here. And God's saying, no, that's not good. You're going to stay back and in Jerusalem, and you're going to continue to learn to trust in yourself. But the blessing is, is when God takes us into these places, even though they're difficult. He says, I'm going to produce good fruit in you. And that's what this whole idea is here about the good figs and the bad figs. God says, when you go into a bad place, don't look at it as a bad place because I'm going to be there with you. And you're, you're going to be a good fig because you're going to learn to trust in me. That's what this whole story of Jeremiah is about. It's learning to trust in the Lord, and sometimes the Lord has to take us into difficult places so that we learn to put our trust in Him. Do you know the central verse of the entire Bible? You go to Psalm 118 and verse 8, and the, right in the middle of the Bible, it's as if God said right here, this is the central thought, and He says, don't trust in yourselves, don't trust in man. Put your trust in the Lord. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verses uh, uh, 
chapter 3, verse 5, 6, 7, 8, says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Be a good fig. You are a good fig when you are taken into a bad place and you learn to trust in the Lord. That's what the lesson is today. Take a look at Jeremiah chapter 24 and learn the lesson of going into captivity, of being in a bad place, but learning to trust in the Lord. Amen.